Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Ilona and Samir are on the hunt for a cottage, a family-friendly getaway to escape their everyday city life. How do we get rid of these bugs, man? Like, really? So this is the woods. Oh, I like As this. the family expands. Ooh, ooh. Goodness. There Where's the lake? Why am I looking at a river? Now this is a cottage. We're really excited to get out there. Just want to, you know, open that door, go, and, and see what's out there. They've got a dream and a budget. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Ilona and her husband Samir have a hectic life in the city. Samir, can you get Josie ready? How about her diaper bag? Yeah, it's already, well that's already packed. They're dreaming of a country getaway, a home away from home where they can enjoy a mini vacation every weekend with their two young kids. So for me, the idea of having a cottage and why it would be great is I can look forward to the weekends and getting out of the city and, and doing something. With a $600,000 budget, tops on their wish list is a kid-friendly waterfront that reminds Alona of her maritime roots. It really is that outdoor setting that is the, the most important part. So the lot, the access to the water, that feeling that you had from when you were a kid or whatever, that it feels like a cottage. A newer cottage is a must. No fixer-uppers, no handyman specials. I don't think either of us are looking for a shack. You know, I mean, no. it has to be definitely a cottage that I feel like the structure is there and, and there's no major repairs. Our goal is not to create more work. Once again, it is a vacation that we're looking for. So. Rounding out their needs, an open concept on the inside, and a big yard to play outside. Ilona and Samir focus their search in Halliburton, about two and a half hours away from their Toronto home. They've enlisted the help of Rob Saraduke, one of the area's top realtors. Yeah, um, all the Halliburton is the perfect place for a young family's to cottage. We're really excited to get out there and see what Rob has to show us. Just wanna, you know, open that door, go and, and see what's out there. Their first stop is a five-year-old cottage on Little Redstone Lake. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The list price, $599,000. Right at the top end of their budget. Thank you, hon. This is nice, eh? Very nice. I love the setting. It reminds me of a place I would go when I was a kid or something, you know, just like the cove. Yeah. And I think you'll find that it has many of the um, things on your wish list. Fantastic. Yeah. Look at the gorgeous sand. Wow. Oh, that is nice. That is really beautiful. So for 600 do I get a boat with it? Um, you know what? Any <laughs> offer or deal is negotiable. Okay. So the water levels do fluctuate, and we are starting to get into the low season. Okay. So in the spring, the water is actually going to come up to about here. So you're okay. always going to have the sandy beach. And as the season goes on, the water starts to pull i, I got to okay. interrupt you. Like, how do we get rid of these bugs, man? Like, really? So this is the woods. <laughs> but yeah. So there are a few bugs. So few. I recommend bug spray. <laughs> Having the shallow sandy entry is perfect, but you also want deep water off the dock at the same time, right? Yeah. Like on a hot day, do a cannonball in. I think we see that the waterfront is an A plus, exactly yeah. what you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. So yeah. why don't we? Oh, now we can see down the other end of the lake. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I didn't nice. realize. At first, I thought we were at the end. So yeah, yeah that's so beautiful. Well, as you can see, the owners have put a lot of attention into the landscaping. Yeah. Got everything that you guys were looking for from and a waterfront perspective. And knowing that Alona hasn't complained yet, <laughs> means we're on a good <laughs> track. Right means now. we're on a good start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the foyer. Nice. Always good to have a second Little fridge or freezer. Yeah. 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 yeah, I do like this. Big on your wish list was open concept, and this is as open concept as you can get. We have kitchen, yeah. dining, living. I get that. I, I love the living room. Yes. Well, I mean, I can't say the kitchen wows me, but again, I mean, I'm not really coming here to cook. I think it'll be a bit more cooking than we probably expect because there's no takeout really, right? Yeah, I guess. You'll notice that the dining space here is quite small. And then we have the gorgeous living room. The pine ceilings. Oh, this wood is Wood burning gorgeous. fireplace. 
Yep. That's beautiful. This fireplace will actually provide a lot of um, heat. I just gotta lie down on the couch and see if I can pass out on this couch if it's comfortable enough. I think you can probably uh, pass out pretty easily. Yeah. I just want, Cause that's the thing about a cottage, you just wanna be. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, oh, I can do this. <laughs> right off the main room, we have Ooh, the master. Ooh, very nice. nice. Very nice. With oh, the I like the walk -out. Okay. Wow. And have oh, those doors great. open on a nice summer's night, nice breeze coming through. Thank yeah, you. this is great. Knowing how much you love yeah. to do laundry. This is better than at home. We don't have a walk-in closet or uh, accessible laundry yeah. at home. Yeah, this is very nice. Wow, and an ensuite. Yes. Usually you say all the comforts of home, but this is actually more than what oh, we have in the city. Huge. Oh, this is good. Having laundry here is actually a bonus yeah. I didn't necessarily expect. I think I imagined myself with a big basket of clothes every time we came down here, but knowing that the storage and the laundry is here, that's yeah. simplifies huge. Your life. It simplifies it, it, it a lot. So knowing that you have two kids, I'm sure that um, they're going to want their own bedrooms. So this is the second bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's a decent size. So it's a good size. Yeah, nice. Double closets. I think so far some of the paint colors probably need would need to be updated. So if we just go across the hall, we have bedroom number three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's decent nice. size. It's bigger yeah. than yeah. the bedroom we were just in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a really good size. And if you go through that door right there, there's a little surprise for you. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't, on. yeah, I'm just trying to think where we are. <laughs> oh, oh okay. foyer. foyer, full circle. I, I, was, I, was really, yeah. I was really wondering if someone had to go through my bedroom to go yeah. to the bathroom. Yeah, it's okay. no, okay. Not to be a stickler, but you said it's a five-year-old house. Like, this, I don't know, it just seems a bit cheap. You know, some people have different tastes. And I'm falling asleep. That's something that you could actually easily change. So the last feature that we haven't seen yet, which I think is one of the best features of this cottage, is the use of outdoor decking. So tons of space. Yeah. Um, you can walk mm -hmm. right down to the water from here. So what do you think? Does it have everything that you were looking for? I was looking for a little bit more privacy. And um, this kind of seems like it's a bit open. It's got most of what we asked for, for sure, but I think we need something to compare it to. My favorite part about the property is definitely all of the exterior, the, the lake and the beachfront. To find this type of waterfront in this price range is a very rare find. There are a few things that I guess didn't really meet uh, my expectations. From the light fixtures and the kitchen, I expected it was probably 20, 25 years old. I think they were a little disappointed in the finishes and such, but as we say to all buyers, those are things that you can easily change. You know, when looking at waterfront properties, you have to look at the lot. It's all about the lot. I like the cottage a lot. I wouldn't say that I love it, and it, with it being the first one that we've seen, I, I definitely need to see others to see how it would compare. In this price range, for this type of cottage and construction and this type of waterfront, it's going to be pretty hard to uh, find something better than this. Ilona and Samir are searching for their dream cottage. A weekend escape where they can swim, explore, and unwind with the family. It really is that feeling that you had from when you were a kid. It feels like a cottage. They have $600,000 to spend on the perfect getaway. The first property has the waterfront Ilona dreams of, but the cottage is too dated and tired for their tastes. I can't say the kitchen wows me. So Realtor Rob tries a different approach. At 2,800 square feet, this cottage is nearly double the size of the one on Redstone. It has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a list price of $499,000. $499, so well nice. Well okay, yeah. Gives you some room to do some things if you want, but I think you'll find that the owners here have already done everything for you. Great. Okay. okay. Let's check it out. Excellent. Let's go. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh. Very nice. Gourmet kitchen, granite countertops. Yeah. It's kind of a dream kitchen as opposed to a cottage kitchen, really. There definitely is a trend to um, a more refined type of look and feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now in my head, I'm thinking about, does it have that warm cottage feeling <laughs> to the house too, you know? Because there's that sense when it's raining outside, you're inside, you're like, oh, inside of a cottage is so different than being inside of right. a regular home. Am I looking for comfort or am I looking for, the, the, you know, a home away from, like, you know, my a house home, here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. A city home on the water. That's it, a city home on the water. That's right. it, that's it. That's what I was showing There's definitely to say. a difference yeah, between yeah. Um, the two. 
you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, this is a small space, but let's keep in mind that there's another level. So this is just basically eating and relaxing in front of the fire. I guess my first reaction is that I will be spending as much time trying to keep Josephine off the stairs here as I, as I do at home. I know Josie's young right now, but you have to remember, you're probably gonna be in this place for years to come. And pretty soon, Josie's gonna grow up and be a big girl. And you know, what doesn't necessarily fit now can be solved in just a few years. So well, let's go have a look upstairs and see what's up there and see if that might suit your needs. The stairs, the floors are really nice. Yeah, I like the very good finishes. Ceiling. Good finish, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is. That's beautiful, just seeing, seeing the trees. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So remember, you know, you probably are gonna have lots of friends and family up, right? So, you know, three bedrooms might not suit your needs, right? Kids are gonna eventually wanna have their privacy. So okay. this is a perfect kid's bedroom. Oh, yeah. this is, yeah. you know, it's not very big, but it's got double closets. It's a good size. It's, it's a cottage. cottage. That's what it is, you know? You, you just need a bed and yeah, you need to sleep, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Let's have a look in here. We have bedroom number two on this floor, and even bigger than the last. Very nice. Behind door number three. And I think you guys are really gonna like this. Th that room really has a nice view. <laughs> it does, and I think you're really gonna like this. This is a gorgeous bathroom. Wow, that is beautiful. For your guests. Yeah. Jacuzzi tub. For our guests, nice. what about us? Yeah. Let's go see your bedroom. Yes. Done and done. So the main bath, or your bedroom, the master bedroom is on the uh, main floor. So I'm not quite sure how you feel about the kids being up there and you being down here, but. Yeah. Not too crazy about that idea, but we do have a baby monitor, so it's possible. Well, let's wait till you see the master. So welcome to the master. Hmm. Okay, okay. Very nice. Very cozy. Spacious. Warm, yeah, I like it. It feels like yeah. a country bedroom. Yeah. I like the details really? and the windows. I think it looks like a downtown Toronto condo bedroom. Really? Yeah. Oh, a hot tub. Oh, a little hot tub looking up to the stars. Yeah. So I know you, you mentioned you've always wanted to have an ensuite. I really like these kinds of showers. That's great. It's very nice. Oh, this is really, look at that tub. Yeah, nice. Have, so you, I, have I, a glass of wine, a little yeah. tub. I think two yes. could fit in there. I think so. I think maybe so. all four. <laughs> <laughs> This is, in my opinion, beautiful. Oh, I like As this. As the family expands. Ooh, ooh. My goodness. Very Where's flat. the lake? We're actually on the river, which connects Pilaw Lake, which is just down there, to Little Redstone Lake, which is just right here. Why am I looking at a river, man? Really? <laughs> well, you know, in this price range, with um, what you want as far as a house, you really have to make some sacrifices. And um, sometimes the waterfront is a sacrifice you have to make. Why don't yeah. we go enjoy the water and you can see how deep it is? I don't know. This just kind of depresses me. Maybe it is the whole river concept. I don't know. It just feels stagnant is the word that keeps coming to mind for me. So you don't see yourself using this waterfront. You like the cottage a lot better. And then it's take a real that. decision. Right. It's always a gamble when you take a cottage buyer to a river. It's not the waterfront that I was looking for. Take about 100,000 away from the house inside and have a better kind of property for a lakefront. You know what I mean? So the price is the perfect. I think they want everything and there really is not everything on a buyer's wish list in one property. I think it's just realizing I could do with a more compact space if it was on the lake in general. Samir and Alona's search for a stress-free vacation home has turned up one property with a fantastic beach and debatable details, and another with urban style finishes and a river they hate. Rob hopes this third property is the perfect blend this half-acre waterfront cottage has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, southwest exposure, and it's listed for $579,000. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's great. Can we see the water first? Let's go look okay, at the water. Great. So when I think cottage, this is what I imagine. Oh, this is nice. I don't think you get better, any better than this with the views. Oh my goodness. You know, for 100 feet of frontage on yeah. Big Redstone Lake, the waterfront is still quite private. Yeah, I mean, a sandy beach would be a nice to have, but I think having the, the dock and, and still having a shallow entry is definitely workable. The best part about this is that we're in this little cove, you know, it's, it looks very private. Oh so, yeah, just the feeling of, of 
peacefulness out here is great. Let's go see the house. Now I will say before we get there that, you know, you didn't have a problem making something your own. So I just need you to use your imagination and see, you know, how you would add your finishing touches. So this is like buying the little house on the best street you can afford. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. nice, really nice and open. Now this is a cottage. I mean, you know, you come to a cottage to be looking out at a beautiful view in the lake and you get that 100% here. And uh, it's ex exactly what I would imagine. Do you find the kitchen functional? Of course. You know, I, again, I don't think I'm looking for my dream kitchen at a cottage. I want something that works and this has all the amenities I would hope for. So great open concept. Can I, you I just like imagine uh, Kyan playing video games and Josie jumping on top of yes, him right there while definitely. we're getting breakfast ready? <laughs> definitely. So let's go have a look down here. Here we have... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, here okay, we have there's the our, our bedroom, first little job. With, um, something that Samir will fix. Um, <laughs> on yes. Clothing. It's great. I mean, I like the color. It's a it's a good size. And a walk out to yeah, it's oh. beautiful to wake up with that this in the morning. Is a, let's see. Oh, this is ideal. Perfect for your morning coffee. Imagine sitting mm -hmm. out there on a couple yeah. of lounge chairs. Yeah, this is great. Nice fresh air, it's beautiful. Oh, uh, this is perfect for the kids too because yeah. there's no stairs. And so yeah, as we're making breakfast or what have you, they can just be playing here. So let's go see what else is on this floor. Great. So we have a second bedroom here. I guess you guys would have to decide which um, we one would get this room, yeah. but you yeah. could actually put bunk beds in here. Yeah. We have a full four-piece bathroom, which is a good size. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't like this bathroom. It, just the floors, the countertop, the color, just it doesn't work for me. Samir? It, it's functional, it works. So that completes our tour of the upper level, and down here we have the lower level. Great which I think that, you know, you just need to use your imagination, but I thought this would be a great media room, oh. big TV here, Josie can play over there. I think it's great. I would just want to open up those windows a little bit more for light, mm -hmm. but uh, this is kind of a bonus space to me that I wasn't expecting. Small oh, little okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. that's very convenient. Yeah, because I mean, you know, people are down, they're rather at the yeah. fire pit or the, the water. Is there room for a shower in here, you think? No. Um, I would say no, but you know what? You're at the cottage. Yeah. Make an outdoor shower. That's right. I'm and just so saying, you're coming in. in you wanna... Two, well, one and a half. Okay. So, completing the lower level, we have two other bedrooms on that side in the utility room here. I think you'll find both bedrooms to be really spacious and will suit your needs. Hey, do you mind if we check out? The walkout, I think that's the, the yeah. kind of killer feature here. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. After Sweet. you, sir. Oh, this is where it comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. You could clean up this space easy. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Yeah, the most important part is the space Come, is yeah, here. Yeah, level it out. Oh, yeah. I like this. I think for the kids playing out here, it's great just the way it is. It's just really cleaning it up and uh, putting some furniture and stuff. So I think it's great. Hear that? Nothing. <laughs> Love it. This has been a really interesting experience for us. I think when we sat down to come up with our wish list, you know, it's all just words on paper, but actually yeah. going through this and seeing some real properties, I think for us has, you know, really made us sit, sit down and we have to think about what, what's important and uh, go from there. Finding the perfect cottage for Alona and Samira has been a very big challenge. Shopping for a cottage has definitely been a challenge. It's not that easy of, um, you don't get to see two houses close to each other. When you go from one house to the other, it's so different. To find that property that has had everything on their list has been next to impossible. We really have a lot to sit down and think about. Uh, again, I, to Samir's point, it is very different than buying a home in a, in a city that you're familiar with and, and you don't know what it's going to be like in different seasons or different times of day. So there's a bit of a, a leap that we have to make. I think I did the best job that I could for them and I just hope it was good enough. Ilona and Samir want the perfect home away from home where they can start to make lifelong family memories. With $600,000 to spend, the couple saw three very different cottages, each with lots of outdoor space for the kids and little rental work to do. Now, they need to figure out what's truly important to them. So the first property that we saw on Rattlesnake Road, really nice sandy beach. I liked it a lot. There was lots of outdoor space. It was pretty much ready to go in terms of landscaping, 
really great view. And the house really didn't have anything too big that we would have to do with it. Yeah, yeah. I felt like exactly a couple things, you know, like some fit and finishes in the house, but something, you know, I could take the project on maybe. So let's talk about that second property on, on Redkin Road, the one that was on the river. For me, it just really wasn't what I was looking for in terms of access to the water. But the positive with that is it is a house. You can stay there for a long time, right? So it's almost like, you know, you're not, the amenities are there of a house perspective. So the it was an open was really layout, nice. but it was a nice house, yeah. yeah. So the last one we saw was on the one beautiful lake, lots of waterfront, lots of space to play outside. And also the entryway into the water was, was a bit rocky, so how, what do you think the kids would be okay with that, trying to run, you know, jump into the water? Negative for me was maybe some of the finishings, and it probably needs a lot of work just cosmetically. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that second property on, on Redkin Road. Is it even a cottage if it's not on a lake? So I, yeah. I, I think we agree. Um, that one's definitely, I know the price was the best one, but I'm not settling for something just based yeah. on a dollar value. No, not at all. This is a long-term investment. So yeah, no, okay. I agree so with you. Let's reel that one yeah, out. Yeah, let's do that. So I think we know which one I want to pick. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hey, bro. Hi. How's it going? I wasn't expecting to see you yeah. so well, soon. Well, we were actually looking forward to seeing you. How are you oh, doing, yeah. buddy? Yeah. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Hi. So, did we make any decisions? We have. Is that why we're here to see me? Yes. Oh, yeah. exciting. It's exciting. We have come to a decision. Really? Mm -hmm. Great. A lot of thinking. Yeah. Yes. But we um, decided to go with the Rattlesnake Road Cottage. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was really the sandy beach that sold us. I figured that the waterfront probably was going to seal the deal with that one mm -hmm. for you. Easy access to the water, and it's going to be so great for the kids to run around. And the house is great, too, so I think it has everything we want. Well, as I say, you can change the cottage, but you can't change the waterfront, right? That's right. And that one has some amazing waterfront, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. that's great. We're so happy with our choice of the Rattlesnake Road Cottage. As soon as we walked out of the car onto that sandy beach, I think I knew that that was the cottage for us. I actually didn't think those two were going to be able to make a decision. We saw a lot of properties, but I think they really picked the right one.